it's the third Friday of the month and I'm fucking irked. So today we're gonna break format because you know how I love to follow my own format and talk about something that is irking me uh, just about society and in general. So this there's a good chance this is gonna be a long video so you might just want to get yourself a, a drinky drinky and um, come sit down and we'll, we're gonna talk about how we feel about society, okay? So let's not waste any time, let's get started. So I wanna talk about something first that happened to me personally over um, a, a few days ago. Um, so <laughs> I have um, a couple web, a couple um, profiles set up on like dating websites, um, like Plenty of Fish and other things. Um, on one of my dating profiles, I, well, on, on all of them it's, it's happened, but the, the instance I'm going to talk about today happened a few days ago. Um, this profile had been hitting me up, um, requesting sex, I reject them, and it just turns into a big mess. So, I hadn't heard from this profile in a while, so I, I mean, I wasn't messaging them and being like, hey, what's going on? But um, it messaged me again, and I don't know who this person was, I don't know if it was a male, I don't know if it was a female, I don't know how old, how young, anything like that, because it's, it was simply a, a, just a profile with like a, like a, a name and everything, and I didn't, you know, I'm not, it's whatever, so that doesn't matter. Anyway, so the same thing happened, he, this person messaged me, asked me for sex, I, when I said no, he got very irate I guess you could say and he started going on about oh you're a fat whore you're good for nothing but sucking dick blah blah blah, blah this that and the other so how I responded at first was to be very very rude and very cruel which was not the correct approach um it was actually kind of funny what I asked. I asked him if his dad had touched him in his no-no spot or if he was missing a chromosome and just, just lots of mean things that I shouldn't have said. But when I realized that that, what, that that approach wasn't working, I flipped my tactic on him and I said, you know, I'm so sorry, and, and this is what I said in short, I'm so sorry that you don't love yourself enough to not have to inflict pain on others to bring yourself up. And I hope that, you know, even though you are not inflicting pain upon me or my feelings at this current moment, that one day you don't have to do this to people to make, to bring yourself up, that you'll just love yourself. And I thought that was a very respectful way of going about it. But he continued on calling me a fat inbred whore, blah, 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 blah. I was laughing about the whole thing. So after that, he ended up blocking me, which ended up working out fabulously. But after that happened, I was sitting in my room by myself, and I was thinking about it. And I kept thinking to myself, God, you know, where the fuck did this guy get off thinking that it's okay to treat women that he doesn't find or society doesn't find, you know, perfect and acceptable or of the mold that they make a perfect woman out to be, to treat them in such a way that you're going to call them names and pretty much anonymously on the internet, you know, and then request them for sex. And then on top of it, you, you like act, I mean, he, I feel, acted as though like, I owed it to him, or that like I deserved to be treated that way, or that he was entitled to sex from me because I'm desperate or whatever the reason may be. Like he was entitled to me, like I was like just a piece of property that you could pay for and own. And that's not okay. And why society feels that this is okay is beyond me. And this is not even the first time this has happened. I've had this happen to me from multiple men on different sites of different ages, anywhere from 20 to 40. Like a, like a 40 year old man did the same thing. He was like, I remember the message exactly. He said, you're fat. What does it matter? When I said no to wanting to be with a 40 year old man, I'm 23 years old. Like that, and like he could have been my fucking father. Like, are you, like what is wrong with people? I don't understand 
understand where this societal breakdown happened where you just start treating people that aren't like according to society fitting into the perfect picture of what a man or a female a man or a woman is and it's just like okay to treat people that don't fit into this perfect little fucking mold like shit like they are worthless like they don't deserve love or respect or anything like that I don't know when that happened when did that happen and the thing that really bothers me about this whole thing is I look at, like, the UCB shooting and that crazy guy. Like, no, this guy didn't go out and fucking shoot up his college. But is there really a difference? I mean, if he's going on the internet and doing this kind of thing, and if, as I've said, other men are doing it, and then this, I mean, this dude that did the UCB shooting just like went out and just decided to take it like five steps further like what is stopping them like that's what that's what I don't understand what I'm trying to convey to the men and the women going on about this or even watching this video just go doing any of these things if you're a man and you're doing these things what the fuck is wrong with you like, is there, like, a, do, were you not hugged enough as a child? Do you not love you enough to, like, make other people feel like, or attempt to make other people feel like shit? Because, I mean, my feelings weren't hurt. I really don't give a fuck. But, I mean, I could see that ha that really bothering somebody else. Like, I look at it as, a, like, if that happened to, like, Jessica or one of my other friends, they would be torn apart about it. They would be heartbroken that somebody did that to them. That someone could be just so outwardly cruel. And not to mention, this guy doesn't even fucking know me. He, had, he has no idea who I am. He has no idea that, first of all, I have a YouTube channel and I could broadcast it technically to the entire fucking world if I wanted to. He, you know what I'm saying? He has no idea, like, who I am. Like, he could have been dealing with fucking Barbara goddamn Walters. He's not, but I'm just saying. But what I'm trying to say in this whole thing is that respect women no matter what shape size color ethnicity nationality background etc most of us are just as qualified or more than qualified to do any job that you can do women are not property we are not possessions we cannot be owned and this and this misogynistic bullshit has to end with us Anyway, uh, do me a solid, guys. Click the like button if you liked it. Click my face if you want to subscribe to my channel. I'm sorry that this was such a downer, um, but I feel a lot better now that I, like, talked about it a little bit, so that makes me feel good. Yay. Um, <laughs> if you want to see something that's a little more lighthearted and fun, you can click over here to see what happened last week. It was a TMI tag, um, and I did half the questions in half the time. So, yeah, go check it out. And then this week's face... Oh, fuck. I just looked at a new channel yesterday, and I already don't remember what it was called. Oh! Oh, oh, now I remember. It was, like, Beckio, I believe. Beckio? Whatever. I'll leave it linked here. You'll, yeah, you'll see what it is. She's really funny. I enjoyed her quite a bit. She's British. She's very funny. Please go watch her. All of these linkies will also be in the description, because, you know, you fuckers on your phones can't just get your shit together. Alright, so I will see you fuckers next week with a much happier, lighthearted video, not so serious. And it'll be a good time, I promise. So I'll see you fuckers later. Goodbye.